this is a uh, an example of how to uh, load and unload troops entirely using AI. So this mission will demonstrate a Huey taking off, uh, loading some troops, landing in a zone, the troops unloading, carrying out a task, the Huey then flying to another pickup zone, picking the troops back up, and then returning them back to base. Uh, the way this is done is very similar to the the troop transport example uh, further up in the thread, uh, but this time it's entirely done by AI. So in the same way, we first start with a group of troops called Extract 10. Extract 10 are uh, named that uh, as they're on the uh, troop pickup list, um, which you can see on CTLD. There we go. So they're on the extractable groups list, which means that uh, CTLD can interact with them. Um, these troops are automatically loaded by a trigger, which runs after 10 seconds. So uh, we call CTLD.loadTransport Helicargo1, which means that these troops will be loaded into this helicopter. The helicopter will then fly uh, to waypoint 1 and then over to waypoint 2. Uh, waypoint 2 has a bunch of advanced actions. Uh, number one is land. So the Huey will land inside this zone, which is called Drop Zone 1. Drop Zone 1 is a trigger zone, and as Drop Zone 1 is on the list of uh, drop off zones, as you can see here, there's Drop Zone 1, um, the AI will automatically unload troops as soon as they land in that zone. What that will then do is the same as before, it will activate the second group, uh, deactivate the original group, the second group will then go about their task which is walk to waypoint 1, 2 and 3 and then walk to a pickup zone. Uh, the trigger for that is in the mission, uh, I'll just talk through it again here. So this is the trigger, group in zone. Uh, the troops will, when extract 10 are dropped inside drop zone 1, it will trigger this trigger. Uh, the trigger will send a message which says extract group in zone 20 waypoint. It will trigger a signal flare. It will also deactivate extract group 10 and activate extract group 11, which means they'll then walk their path and then head to the pickup zone. Um, going back to the Huey, the Huey then has an adva another advanced task of orbit. Uh, so what it will do is it will circle for a few minutes, uh, two minutes in fact and then once it's finished circling after two minutes it should then land and pick up the troops. The pickup bit is the the most complicated bit of this mission so the way pickup zones normally work or by default in CTLD pickup zones have a limited number of troops that can be loaded from a zone so what would happen if we if we left the CTLD as default is the AI would land in this zone and instead of picking up our troops that have walked into the zone it's possible it could load troops directly from the zone which isn't what we want so what you need to do is edit CTLD. So just open up CTLD in a text editor, um, Notepad++ plus plus or something like that, and head down to the pickup zones. So here are the pickup zones here. So by default, uh, CTLD looks like this, where pickup zone one uh, has blue smoke. It has unlimited number of soldiers, minus one, which is what is said here. Minus one means unlimited. Um, it's active and it's for both sides. So what we want to do is have a pickup zone where there are no troops available. So we just change that minus one to a zero and save it. There we go, that's saved. Uh, we then load that into our mission. So let's overwrite this one. So CTLD, there we go. So now we've got our updated CTLD. So what that will now mean is when that helicopter lands inside pick zone 1 it will automatically try and pick up troops uh, as there's no pick up, as there's no troops to pick up from the zone it will uh, only pick up the troops we send to that zone. Uh, again once it's done that after it's waited for a minute or so it will then go to waypoint 3, waypoint 4 and then land at drop zone 2 and again the AI will automatically unload the troops as it's in a drop zone. So let's give this a try. Okay. 
So, let's start. So after 10 seconds, these troops should be loaded by the helicopter, and they can take off and do its mission. There we go. So let's pick up the troops. I'm just going to speed up time a bit. So the Huey is now going to take off, fly its route. Um, it's completely done my waypoints, and it's the only little long way around, but never mind, it'll get there eventually. So it should now circle back and go for a landing. There we go. So he's moving into land now. So again, as soon as this lands, it'll be landing inside uh, drop zone 1, so the troops it's carrying will automatically be unloaded, uh, triggering extract group 11 to appear and head off and do their mission. trigger you saw a little flare pop out which we had just to show it was working and off they go to do their mission so that just consists of running about so let's speed time back up again our helicopter's got a, an orbit task so it will just fly around for a bit and hopefully I've timed it right and it should come and pick up the troops Okay, there's the troops running in from the top left there. And again, as it's now in a pickup zone or pick zone, it's uh, every it's always trying to load troops. So as soon as the troops get in range of being loaded, they'll uh, appear inside the helicopter. range and not being picked up by the helicopter. The helicopter should now uh, fly the rest of its route which is then returning to base once it's finished waiting on the ground for a bit. There we go. And again it's a drop zone we're going to land in so smoke will uh, the smoke shows the drop zone and uh, the troops will automatically jump out and trigger the victory message. And there we go, mission complete. So that's just uh, one of the ways you can get AI to do an automatic troop load and unload. As I say in the description uh, above, you don't necessarily need to make it this complicated because the because it's an AI doing it, you could spawn troops whenever the AI touches down or use triggers and uh, flags to, to do other actions, but this actually shows a helicopter